What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to multiply a whole number by a decimal. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so we have this question here, we have 45 times 1.4. So the tip for today and what to remember is we're going to ignore the decimal and then put it back at the end. So what does that mean? Well, at the moment we have the number 1.4 with a decimal. 1.4 is 10 times less than just saying 14. So I could make a new question and say 45 times 14. But what I have to remember is that I've now made this question 10 times larger. So at the end, I have to make it 10 times less again. But let's get to that bridge when we cross it. And let's begin by putting our columns. So we're going to have ones and tens. Okay, so my 45 is made up of five ones and four tens. And now my 1.4, remember we're gonna think of it as just 14, so I have four ones and one 10. Now I'm just gonna solve this like any other multiplication question, starting with my smallest value. Four times five is 20, put the two ready to be used in the next column, the zero in the ones column. Four times four is 16, plus my two is 18. So my answer to four times 45 is 180. Now I'll do the next smallest value, which is going to be this 1 in the tens column, and I'm going to answer 1 times 5. But remember, this is now not just a 1, it's actually a 10, because it's in the tens column. So my question is 10 times 45. So to make my question 10 times bigger, I'm going to put a 0 in here as a placeholder, and then just answer 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. And I can check that to make sure I've done that right by saying 1 times 5 is 5, correct, but 10 times 5 is 50, and that is our actual total answer. So I have 1 times 5 is 5, next part, 1 times 4 is 4. So my answer to 10 times 45 is 450. All I do now is add these parts of the question back up together, because I've partitioned it so far, and now I need to put it back together. So let's just check my 1's column, I have a 0 and a 0. Remember, I'm not adding this part, that's the question. So 0 and 0 is 0, 8 and 5 is 13, and 1 plus 4 is 5, plus my new 1 is 6. My total answer is 630. But, remember, 630 is 10 times bigger than what we wanted our answer to be, because we now have this decimal. So at the moment, my decimal place would be here, and I can say 630.0. But to make it 10 times smaller, I'm going to move all of my digits one place to the right. And to help me do that, I'm going to put my column titles. I have ones, tens, hundreds, my decimal, and my tenths. Now my six comes into the tens column, my three goes into the ones column, put back my decimal, and then move this zero out into the tenths. My answer is 63.0, or just 63. Easy! Let's have a look at a slightly harder one. Now we have two numbers that both have decimals. Let's see how this would look. So I have 43.3 and 2.6. Now to get this into whole numbers, I'm going to make 43.3 10 times bigger, but I'm also going to make 2.6 10 times bigger. So my question will look like this. 433 times 26. Put my column titles, ones, tens, hundreds, and I'm ready to begin. Let's do this super fast. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 3 again, 18 plus the 1 is 19. 6 times 4 is 24, plus my 1, 25. So 6 times 433 is 2,598. Now let's do the next number. 2 times 3, remember it's not a 2, it's a 20, so I'm going to show that by putting my placeholder. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. So the answer to 20 times 433 is 8,660. Add them both together, I have 8, 9 plus 6 is 15, 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 1 is 12, and 2 plus 8 plus the 1 is 11. So my answer is 11,258. Let's put it over here. However, what I did, I made this number 10 times larger and this number 10 times larger. So altogether I made it 100 
times larger because 10 times plus 10 times is 100 times. Now what I need to do is make this answer 100 times smaller. So let's put this into place already. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. And 100 times smaller is going to be moving these places two places down our place value chart. So one, two. My one comes here. This one goes one, two. My two goes one, two. My five goes one, two. And my eight goes one, two into a place I don't even have space for. So if I finish this off, decimal, 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 my answer is 112.58. Easy. So now it's your turn. Have a go at these three challenges. I have a green, an orange, and a red chili challenge for you. Work on them in your own time. Press pause on the video now and put your answers in the comments section. And there we go, guys. That is how to multiply a whole number by a decimal. If this video has been helpful for you, join us over at themathshelter.com where there's loads more videos that are going to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.